Mic check, are we all on? Yeah, we're all yeah. on the mics. There you go. Right. G'day, mate, and welcome back to another episode of the uh, Tool Junkies. <laughs> welcome back to another episode, and this week we're going to be showing you the new Universal Rail Square from Bench Dogs and the Repeat Stop Guide. And once we've gone through the Bench Dog Mark III, we'll show the advantages of using this system. So, as you can see, there's been some pretty big changes. Now, this is the Mark II, and this is the Universal Mark III. Now this one is set up for a Makita, however the disadvantages of the Mark II was you would have to buy that track square in order for you to fit your DeWalt, your Milwaukee, your Mayfell and your Makita. This on the other hand suits all. As you can see these thumb turns here fit the Makita, hold on I've got to look at this one, the Festool, Makita, Triton, Milwaukee, Evolution, Abura and the XL. So as you can see on the top here, these two suit the DeWalt and the Craig ACS Mark II. And this is how simple and easy this one is. This one's your Mark III and you've got a wing nut with a clamp. Simply spin it round and that now is locked into place. So now we've covered the track square Mark III. Now for the fun bit, the attachments. So this is one of many. On this video we'll be covering the repeat stop guide. So it does exactly what it says on the tin. This is to ensure that you cut the same length every single time. No hassle, no messing around. Simply measure it once and away you go. So now we've got our track into place. All we have to do now is to put our repeat stop track on. Simply follow these holes, alignment with these. And here you have a thumb turn screw. Nice and easy to set, doesn't take long at all. Right, sooner these are tightened, just leave them slightly loose. This is to allow movement for when we're measuring this track, so we ensure that we match up with the measurement here. Right, so now these are left loose, we can move this up and down, and we know that the number there starts with the 190, so all we have to do now is match the 190 and simply tighten these up so we know that every measurement we should read from this should be exactly the same. So now for the finale will be your stop guide. So if you could see your flag stop we should be simply putting that on the repeat stop guide and this will be your flag stop for every measurement that you set this up to. And the beauty about this flag stop is it's actually quite well designed. So underneath, you've got yourself a little thumb turn. So all you'll do is you'll slide this into place, simply tighten it up and away you go. So I'm gonna set a rough measurement of 300 mil. Now, if you was doing shelvings in a cupboard and you were doing 500, 600 measurements, you simply set this up to the number that it states on the track and away you go, that's it. So if you've got 10, 12 shelves cut in front of you, these can be done in seconds, saving you so much time, it is ridiculous. So all we do is we just move this flag stop over to the 300 mil mark, as so. So now we know now, simply sit your track on, there's your flag stop, and we know using the track that it's perfectly parallel, it's perfectly square, and the flag stop, we know that we're on the 300 mil mark, so away we cut. And there you have perfect cut, 300 mil every single time. Efficiency and accuracy of the Bench Dog repeat stop guide with the Mark III track square. Thanks for watching. It's Davey Boy. It's Davey Boy. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. There is some for you in here somewhere, so. <laughs> I was going to say. <laughs> Rule of thumb, when you're buying a Mackie's, always get yourself a cheeseburger on the side. 